Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today uh, is going to be another uh, patee video for you. Um, I've got them all unwrapped here so they're easy for you to see. This is going to involve the uh, short patees again, so the same as the other video, because um, I really like these. Um, but there is a long patee video in the works. And uh, these are going to be on the two different, uh, what I like to call winter variations of use with puttees in a modern sense. Uh, and by that I mean uh, the fact that not a lot of countries use ankle boots anymore. Um, so the subject uh, today for the boots are going to be uh, the Canadian Mark IVs, the black ones, uh, with the pebbled leather. Um, these have their own video if you want to see that. Um, but we're going to show you an inside the boot version, uh, which is going to uh, maintain a lot more warmth going to give you a lot more uh, ankle support um, and it's going to uh, basically just kind of pad the inside of your boot. Um, it's really going to help if you have lots of lastings on your boot for like snowshoes and stuff like that. Um, but it's going to help with the breathability as well uh, as far as opening up the top of your boot. It's going to help with your circulation a little bit more uh, and stuff like that. So but first uh, we're going to show you the outside the boot look, which is going to keep you from like a lot of countries during the winter. They expect you to tuck your pants into your boot, which is a little bit rough because it's harder on your boot and your laces for one because it's going to put more stress on that material because there's they're used to your your boot being formed to your foot, not your foot and your pants. So, But if you blouse your pants, you're going to be venting too much heat and you're going to get cold feet and your body's going to be very in. Uh, inefficiently using its natural warmth. Um, so using a puttee in this way is going to allow you to not tuck your pants in while still trapping heat close to your boot and still um, getting that extra bit of ankle support uh, as well as all the other natural properties that come with wool. So it's going to uh, improve your circuitability in circu circulation, sorry, because you won't have to tuck your pants into your boot, which is going to create undue pressure around this section of your your ankle, and it's going to help you still retain heat. So we're going to show you that version first. Um, so you're going to want to get your pants all in position. Uh, do any of your uh, stuff with them. I like to just kind of pinch them, as you can see there, get all the extra fabric bunched up so they stay nice and tight, okay, and then you just kind of grab them and you fold them over. Um, we're going to start just like with the other video um, where the puttee is going to start on the inside of your ankle where it's going to statistically rub the least amount. Um, now you want to start wrapping your putty. I'm not going to do any fancy wraps or anything in this one. Um, but you're going to want to start wrapping your putty and you're going to want to get your puttees um, snug but not tight. You're going to want snug because if you go tight, you're going to uh, be cutting off your circulation. Now for this one though, you're going to notice I'm not doing just a, a, a single row in height. I'm going to be kind of uh, stepping it to get some extra length out of it. Because what that's going to allow me to do is bring the butti over where my boot is located um, and tighten it down. As you can see, it probably gets a little bit smaller up here because that's going to trap heat uh, from escaping out of your boot and into your pants, um, which is going to help keep your feet warm in the winter uh, if you can't afford any of those big special boots. Now, but this tying your puttees this way um, is going to mean that you don't have enough uh, slack to do the uh, just the slide and tuck, as I call it. Um, where you just slip it behind the other rows of the ties uh, and pull it, you're going to have to actually tie this one because there isn't enough uh, material there. So what you do is you just tuck, tuck it most of the way through here, create this little loop as you can see. But here's the end and you just pull the end through that, that loop there, pull it tight like that. That should keep it from moving around too much. It could move if you do stress it a lot. Um, but this is it right here. So now, as you can see, I didn't tuck my pant into my boots. My pant is now underneath the puttee though, so it will not come up, all right? The puttee is providing enough compression there to trap heat both in my pants and in my boot to keep me from getting cold. 
Um, it's going to keep snow and debris um, out, uh, excess uh, moisture and snow and stuff like that, uh, and debris out of my boot and my pants while still allowing me to vent moisture from my boot out of it because it's fabric here. Um, my pants aren't tucked into my boot, which means I'm going to have better circulation from my legs to my foot, uh, which is going to help me retain heat as well. So these are a smart option in the winter. Um, now we're going to show you what uh, the internal uh, one would look like. And now this is if you want to retain maximum heat. So you start with just your pants, your boot off, okay? Same, same scenario, okay? You're going to start on the inside of your foot. Uh, around your ankle, your puttee's going to go uh, all the way around, snug, not tight, once again, you don't want to cut off your circulation here, you just want that extra support, and um, this way it's going to give you basically just a little bit of extra support, a little bit of padding around your shin, um, but uh, most, of, most of this method where you put it inside your boot is just using your puttees. For one, they take up less space in your pack then. And uh, for two, just to maximum heat retention is what this one's going to be. Because you're just going to add more layers of fabric between your body and the outside elements. This is really all that this version is going to do. Uh, whereas this version is still going to allow you to vent well and stuff. This is going to be trying to prevent you from venting the most, essentially. You want to trap as much heat down by your body uh, as possible, but the wool is still going to have that natural wool property of wicking moisture away from you, which is something you want. It's an important factor to have. Uh, you're going to want that wool's ability to wick moisture away from your skin, uh, which is going to prevent you from getting uh, trench foot and stuff like that, as well as prevent you from getting uh, that moisture building up, which could eventually freeze. So like I said, this is going to be just to keep as much moisture down by your foot as possible, but still keeping you from uh, getting trench foot. So as much heat and stuff like that as possible, which is what this version is for. Now, usually it sticks up above, uh, but once again, your puttee is going to help kind of pad this. So you're, go you're not going to be able to tie your boots anywhere near as tight. Um, you're going to have to adjust your laces probably a little bit, but this is, once again, it's going to help keep your circulation good uh, by not allowing your pants to cut into your leg uh, and your boot and your pants in combination, I should say, to cut into your leg. It's going to give you some padding there. It's going to give you that maximum uh, retention for heat uh, while still allowing you to vent moisture, still keeping debris and stuff out of your boots and everything like that and out of your pants. Uh, but it's still, uh, it's probably, I, I've never had to use this in a situation. Uh, I normally do this, though. Uh, but it's still a good good thing to know if you were ever in an extreme cold environment and you're trying to burn as few calories as possible on heat. This is, uh, this is probably an excellent way to do that if you have this kind of stuff available or just excess scrap cloth you can use. So, so here you see the two ways to wrap your puttees. Uh, for winter, you can use internal to store heat and get that extra padding, or you can use external so you still store extra heat, still get that debris properties, still keeping good circulation and everything like that. So I'll stand up and we'll we'll do a turn so you can see how they look. You can see still still quite nice. Uh, very happy with this outcome. Um, like I said, I use this. I've used this one before. This one I know of in case I would ever need it in an emergency, but I have pretty hot feet and um, I usually come well prepared. This would be more of an emergency to trap heat. Uh, this is a much better option, I think, as far as everyday use goes. So hopefully you guys like this video. Like I said, there's going to be more puttee videos coming along in the future uh, involving some of the long puttees and different ways to tie them and stuff. Uh, but I figured with the giant blizzard we're having, uh, the pretty much record blizzard this year, the most snowfall we're getting. Uh, it's going to be in the next, uh, between yesterday, today, and the next couple days, it's going to be pretty harsh. So I figured some of you guys that live in winter environments would want to know any of this stuff. Uh, get your hands on some puttees if you can. If you have any excess scraps of fabric at home, 
that you can do real easy. It's about a four inch wide piece of fabric. Um, cut them out yourself, sew up the ends so they don't unravel at the edges. All right, just do once or twice around the whole length of them. Uh, you can make them any length you want if you want them tall or, or short or anything like that. And just use them as you see fit. Uh, they have limitless applications basically and I love them to death, even in modern times. Um, can't go wrong. So hopefully you guys like this video. You subscribe if you like this sort of thing. Uh, much more to come. Uh, hopefully you like these and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.